The next example we see is the erection of a guide V tower. To install this type of tower, a few of the steps are similar to those we just saw. However, there are several differences. The main difference is that unlike the self-sustaining structure, there are crewmen at the tower location to receive the tower and help anchor it into position. Let's see how this is done. As before, the hooks are secured to the slings on the tower. Stiffeners aren't needed on these guide V towers, so once the tower is secured, it can be raised and transported. Transporting a tower through the air can generate a static buildup on the tower, which should be discharged before any contact is made. So the ground crew waits until some part of the tower has touched the ground before they make contact with it. With great skill and teamwork, the tower is positioned over its narrow foundation and secured with bolts. The guy wires are then stretched and placed into the guy anchors to permanently secure the tower. When the last of the guys is secured, the helicopter crew releases the connecting hooks and the tower stands on its own. As you can see, with the proper equipment and a well-coordinated crew, using a helicopter to erect a transmission tower can be a fast, efficient alternative to using a crane. And in this part of the program, we've seen how a helicopter can be used to erect two kinds of structures, a self-sustaining lattice structure and a guide V tower. As we learned earlier in the program, though, the methods, equipment, and procedures used to put up a transmission structure can vary from company to company. The equipment used for a particular job will depend on its availability and on the requirements of the job.